I figured you guys would like a video of uh, the hangar where Dave and I work and because uh, a lot of people think you need a lot of elaborate tools and uh, you don't and we Dave doesn't even have uh, any elaborate tools so I'll just kind of talk as you see the uh, hanger this is a, a Navy flying club hanger they kind of use their half and we use this half CX-4 is getting a new windshield after uh, 10 years of sitting outside and uh, of course we have uh, uh, the scales there we weigh the plane on 440 pound uh, scales some parts here that are going to go on the uh, nose gear wheel pants attachment points and uh, Dave's got his little welding area outfit and uh, a workbench this is the primary workbench with an angle on the side there uh, about eight feet long and uh, really sturdy but uh, well used as you can see it's it's got holes drilled all in it and paint all in it and everything uh, somebody was asking about how many Clecos uh, this is about how many you need right here uh, we're pretty much all in there and that's how many you need we never ran out but we did come close you need that many of each size uh, three thirty seconds and eighth and then whatever maybe a few of the bigger ones uh, like these longer or bigger but we hardly ever used any of those you had two or three of those that'd be enough um, a major uh, this is uh, the tool chest here with uh, different tools in it nothing unusual there and uh, you can see a lot of work in progress here um, some plans laid out Dave's making the uh, nose wheel uh, front front nose wheel struts right now uh, there's a heater we use that in the winter uh, one table over there we have several tables we set up and put away as need be here's the, uh, the canopy uh, mold where he uh, vacuum forms the canopies and uh, some nose struts he's working I think these are for the Leonard brothers uh, he makes those out of uh, wear material and uh, ends up with a really nice thing so he's getting a nose strut now getting ready to mount it fit it and so forth <coughs> over here we have uh, what other few tools we have a, a cut off saw don't use it a lot but we do use it some uh, shears hydraulic shears a vibrating cutter assortment of drills we use portable drills more, more than anything and uh, of course a pneumatic uh, rivet puller um, we also use the uh, <clears throat> this saw a lot for various things it, it's used quite a bit and we have a sandblast box hardly ever use it at all I've never used it and a nice big drill press it's used pretty regularly, um, pretty regular basis. Sandblaster belongs to the Navy. Yeah, the sandblaster belongs to the Navy Flying Club, and uh, like I say, I've never even used it. So, and a lot of this stuff back here belongs to the Navy Flying Club. Uh, there's the old uh, uh, rudder and so forth off the, the original one off the CX-5 down there, and we have a shop vac. And then over here, we have a bench grinder and uh sander and uh that's it i mean there, there's not there's not a lot of tools in here as you can see just basic tools and this is where the cx4 was built and the cx5 was built and uh you can see all the shavings on the floor where dave's been uh, whittling away on those nose gear <laughs> so that's the way it is it's pretty simple a uh, little parts bin over here for for screws and stuff. Uh, various screws. Um, our little metal stash here for small parts to reuse some of the metal, and uh, you know a little area over here with a heat gun and a vibrating sander and sandpaper and various and sundry things. A little paint area here. Uh, 
and and that's it that's it uh, we're right here on the airport uh, runways right out there and uh, so when the doors up we see planes coming and going all the time uh, you get really used to them after a while and that's it there's the master back there himself uh, as usual working instead of talking and uh, I thought you guys might like to know you can see how big this area is uh, it's not a real huge area and of course uh, most of the stuff in here is not ours and we don't use it so uh, we don't need anywhere near the area we have especially if we took the wings off the aircraft we wouldn't need much area uh, at all but there you have it guys that's how that your aircraft are built